this is dog land And run with the power pups You've got to, got to love their style And how they never, ever, ever give up Who loves dogs? Who loves dogs? We rise to the challenge Hey, Hank. What? Yappy Valentine's Day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, friends. We're getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day here on Earth and Love Day on Dogland. Love Day is a really fun day on Dogland when the dogs typically share notes, cards, presents that are all about love. And a lot of the dogs love gathering for games and running around together in parks. Just like here on Earth, right Hank? Right! <laughs> Power Dog and his pals love to attend epic Love Day dance parties at Intergalactic dun, dun, Pizza dun, dun, Party. Dun, 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 dun. When we think about love on Dogland, we think about how the dogs look out for each other and their world. We adore the love letter that Bernie Sandals recently sent to Dogland in his speech. He said, We are living in our world at a time that is unlike any time before. This time calls on all of us, dogs, non-dogs, and visitors alike, to know and to love Dogland and every individual that may be on it. Our world is asking us to love it more than it has ever been loved before. Our world is filled with wonders, like Dogger Falls, and those wonders must be cared for through scientific study and informed choices. We must take a lesson from the great tree and stay connected at our roots. If our world is asking us to love it, the obvious answer is, hey, we're dogs. Love is what we do best. At this, every dog in attendance applauded. Isn't Bernie just the best? Now, who wants to hear some jokes? Yeah. Hank, what do you call a very small valentine? What? A valentiny. <laughs> Why do skunks love Valentine's Day? Why? Because they're sentimental creatures. <laughs> <laughs> sentimental? What do owls say to each other on Valentine's Day? What? Owl be yours. <laughs> <laughs> what do bees say to each other on Valentine's Day? What? You are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a bird you love? Tweetheart. Oh, Tweetheart. What do you write in this Slug's Valentine's Day card? Uh, what? Be my Valenslime. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear some Dogland Love Day jokes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What does TikTok Bunny say on Love Day? Some bunny loves you. What do the sky puppies say to each other on Love Day? You're fun to hang around with. <laughs> hey, how did the dog freshen up before heading to the epic dance party at Intergalactic Pizza Party? With a quick shampoodle. <laughs> Did it? Sham poodle. With a quick sham poodle. Hey, how did the dog sign off on their love day card? With pugs and kisses. <laughs> what did the cat say to the dog on love day? 
You're perfect for me. <laughs> What's the most popular love poem for pups? Roses are gray, violets are also kind of grayish. I'm a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that joke's about? Color dogs being like, we don't see that color. Right. So, did you all know about this? I know that we previously shared that dogs can taste sweet things just like humans. But did you know that dogs do not see the same range of colors that we do? Dogs are not colorblind, per se. But they, but they but they do see yellow and blue. See a yellow and yep, blue toy. Yep. Yellow or blue toy, that is how the dog sees it. Right. People used to think that dogs only saw in black and white, and that's just not true and not the whole picture. You see, humans have three types of cones in their eyes. And each type of cone is designed to read a specific wavelength of light. And when the three cones work together, they allow the average human to distinguish a staggering one million colors or even more. Now dogs and other mammals are called dichromats. Dichro meaning two. So they have two types of cones in their eyes, not three. This doesn't mean that they see black and white. It just means that the colors they do see are different than people. Don't feel too sorry for doggies though, as even with just two types of cones, they can still see somewhere around 10,000 different shades of color. 10,000. 10,000? Dogs can mix up colors and shades, like red and green are the hardest for them to see. And like you just said, colors they see the best are blue and yellow but a bluish green or a purple can also be kind of confusing and look a little bit like a brown. While the average human being can see a range of colors, like a rainbow, well, a rainbow appears slightly different to dogs. What are the colors of a rainbow? Red, Red orange, orange yellow, yellow, green, green blue, blue, indigo, and, and violet. violet. For a dog, they just kind of see like a lot of those shades blur together as like maybe types of browns. Again, like you said, best colors for them, if you were gonna pick out a toy or a cute sweater, would be blue and yellow, right? So I was thinking about asking you about that because in our story we have, you know, like rainbow clouds and then also all of Miaoi is trapped in a rainbow bubble dome. So what do the dogs see when they say rainbow bubble dome? They see like millions of colors? Mm, they actually see brown, orange, red, fi fire, mm. not fires and rainbows. <laughs> they see fire rainbows. <laughs> that sounds like a pain bow, <laughs> not a rainbow. You're a nut. Hey, Hank, <laughs> you're cracking yourself up. Hey, Hank. What? Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day and happy love day. <laughs>
Listeners, if you liked what you heard, you can see more content at our website, PowerDogAdventures, all one word, dot com. There, you can sign up for our infrequently emailed newsletter and also submit any good dog jokes. And we'll be forever grateful if you feel like telling your friends about the show, too. If you are looking for more great shows, then please check out the other members of Kids Listen, a grassroots organization dedicated to high-quality audio for kids and families. There are well over 100 great shows to find there. Ask your grown-up to check out kidslisten.org to find out more. Special thanks to our creative partner, the inimitable Jason Rourke, who makes these stories sound extra good with his wise counsel, recording, sound design, and even original music. This podcast has been made possible in part by funding provided by the Regional Arts and Culture Council in Portland, Oregon. Thank you, Rack. It has been made even more possible by listeners like you. Thank you so much for your support, and extra big thanks to our Patreon patrons, who get early access to all of our episodes ad-free, as well as goodies and merch and birthday shout-outs at any level of support. We are not joking even a little when we say we could not do this without you. The Adventures of Power Dog and Dogland is created in the ancestral lands of the Cowlitz, Multnomah, Kathlamet, Clackamas, Tumwater, Tualatin, Kalapuya, Wasco, Molala, Watlala, Bands of the Chinook, and other indigenous nations and tribes of the first people who made their homes along the rivers here in what is now called Portland, Oregon.